Welcome to SnapComs, your internal communications solution. With our interactive RSVP invitations, you can notify users about an upcoming event, allow them to confirm that they're coming, ask them any questions, which session would they prefer, do they need a place to stay, and with a single click, they can even place your event on their favorite calendar. To get started, just log into the Content Manager and click Create Content. Find RSVP Invite on the list, or start typing to narrow down your options and then click on RSVP Invite. Next, select a theme for your invitation, either your organization theme with your company's logo or a simple color. Be sure to give your invitation a memorable name. This is how your invitation will be identified in the SnapComs app on each user's computer and also in your content folders. Choose a folder where you'd like to save your invitation and then click Create Content. You'll see a preview of your invitation on the canvas. Click on the colored text and write a headline for your message and then click on the first question. You can give your event a title and SnapComs will automatically update the question. For instance, will you be attending staff training? Or you can click on the question and customize it however you like. Next, click Add Session and specify when your event will begin. You can choose a date from the calendar or type in a date below. You can also enter the time your event will start or click on the clock icon and choose a time from the list. And you can choose the date and time when your event will end as well. And you can choose the local time zone for your event and describe its location. When you're finished, click Apply to save. If you're planning to run your event more than once, you can click Add Session again and fill in the date, time, and location for each session. The user will choose a session when they sign up for your event. If you need additional information from the user, you can click Add Question and ask anything you like. Just type in your question, open the drop-down, and choose what kind of answer you'd like. Is this a free-form question where the user can type in their response? A multiple-choice question where they'll pick one of the options you provide? Or a multi-select question where they can pick as many of your options as they like? If you choose multi-choice or multi-select, you'll need to offer at least two possible responses. And you can click plus to add additional responses, as many as you need. You can even decide whether this question is mandatory or if the user can choose not to respond. Now, just click on the canvas to save your new question. You can add as many questions as you like, and you can click on a question to come back and make any changes or click Duplicate to copy the question, for instance, so you can ask about meals on a different day. Or you can choose a question and click Remove to delete that question. Now, click RSVP Invite Settings in the toolbar on the right. You can review the event's name and the date, time, and location for each session, and you can choose other settings below. Can the user sign up for multiple sessions or just one? Is this event compulsory or are they free to say no? And should we allow them to download your event as an appointment in a calendar program like Microsoft Outlook or Google Calendar? If so, you can also write a description for the appointment which will appear in their calendar. You can click the Settings tab at the top for even more options. For instance, you can change the button on your invitation. Instead of clicking Submit, perhaps you'd like users to click Sign Up. Would you like to number each question or not? Can a user respond only once or can they come back later and change their answers? If they do come back, should they see the answers they previously submitted or start over from scratch? Should this invitation disappear from their SnapComs app once they respond or can they still review it later? When you're done, click Apply. Just like any other SnapComs message, you can click the pencil icon on the left and customize your invitation. For instance, you can click and drag to add an image or a block of text or a colored line to separate the sections of your message. And you can click pop-up and customize your push notification as well. 
by default. The pop-up simply shows the same headline you added to your main message. We encourage you to add some text to remind your users to respond. When you're done designing, just click the X. Now, click Target and choose the users and groups who should receive your invitation. And click Dates to decide when they should receive it and how long it should be available. Please see our knowledge base for help with targets and dates. When you're ready, click Publish. Review your options and then click Publish again to confirm. At the date and time you chose, your invitation will be delivered to the selected users. Depending on your settings, they'll see a pop-up and they'll click to open your invitation. They can agree to attend, select a session, answer your questions one by one, and submit their response. And when they're done, we'll invite them to save the appointment to their calendar. Let's go back to the Content Manager. Find your invitation in your content folders or right on the main page. The green pie chart shows how many of the users who've downloaded your invitation have responded to it. You can click on the pie chart or open the reports menu and choose success report for more details. At the top, you'll see how many users you targeted, how many of them downloaded your message, how many clicked on the pop-up to read your invitation, and how many responded to it. Below, you'll see details for each targeted user, including their answers to each question you asked. You can click on any column heading to sort this list, or drag a column heading onto the gray bar to group the results by answer. For instance, to group your respondents by the session they'd like to attend. And you can easily export all of this data to Microsoft Excel. By default, this page only shows responses to the most recently published version of your invitation. But you can open the drop-down and choose to see responses to a different version, or pick all versions to see every response you've received. Please see our knowledge base for help with all of our reports. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you ever need help, you can click the question mark and contact our support team by email or by live online chat. Click Tutor for instant contextual help, or just go to snapcoms.com and click on the Resources tab to access our knowledge base, check the FAQs, and watch our other videos. Snapcoms, get employee attention.